Good morning. This is the Shabbat. This is the end of the week. A week in which uh, Roe versus Wade was overturned, as it should have been, because even if it were not the evil thing that it is, the Supreme Court does not make laws, and it is not a constitutional right to kill small humans. That is nowhere in the Constitution that we can kill any human that is in our way. So that was not a good decision almost 50 years ago by the Supreme Court. It was a decision that makes no sense, no sense at all. You can't suddenly legislate from a non-legislative branch of our government that is the judicial branch, and it was a ridiculous decision to allow small humans to be killed by a few people deciding who had no business making law. So even if you thought, oh, it's okay to kill babies at a certain little tiny size, if you thought that, then that is something for the legislators in each state to make up their minds about. It is not something for the court of the land that is designed and has the purpose of uh, interpreting law. That is to interpret law up high in the Supreme Court to interpret law. It is not their job to make law, so that was an illegal law. It was a ridiculous law. It should have never been done. So even if your point of view is that it's okay to kill the little babies inside of mommy where they are innocent and helpless and cannot fight back, then that's your belief system. It still should not have been done by the law of the land in the highest place, by those who are to interpret the law, I mean in the highest place. They are not lawmakers and it should never have been done in that way. Each state now will show if it is a sheep state or a goat state. The state now who decides that yes, it's okay to kill babies before up to the point of birth and after, then you will know those are goat states and God will deal with those states. The sheep states will begin to push it back, push it back. This is what I'm saying will happen. You will begin to see who is a goat state, who is a sheep state, by how they treat their very most vulnerable. Babies are vulnerable. They don't have choice. They don't have the ability to defend themselves. So you will see who is the evil and who is the good by how they treat the most vulnerable of our society. And remember, God formed babies in the womb. God knows those babies. He knows who they are. He knows where they came from. He knows where they're going. And he does not like it when you hurt the little babies. He does not like it. This is something I am so sure of, and I hope that you, in your sincere walk with God, will go to God and say, what do you think about the babies being killed? If you believe in the Old Testament, you will see that when they put the babies through the fires of Molech, this was something God, it was abhorrent to the Lord. They said, oh, it's okay with our God. Our God likes it. Just like you hear some people, Christians even, saying, oh, God really thinks it's great to take care of the poor women who don't want to have this little innocent child and murder this child. No. Mm -mm. You are confused. If you think God is for killing the little ones, remember Jesus said, let the little ones come unto me, forbid them not. Forbidding, murder is the most highest forbidding. And we do not murder children and then say it's okay with God. If you have any idea who our holy God is, he is a loving God. And yes, he loves all the mothers who have been misled into this miscalculated decision. He loves those mothers, yes. But he also loves the tiny humans who are being butchered and having their little parts sold. He loves those humans, make no mistake. He knows those humans. He cares for those humans. He knew them before they were even formed in their mother's womb and he loved them in reference from a past point to a future point. He knows them. They are each exceedingly important. Doesn't matter what they will become or if you think their life will be hard. It is not your business to kill someone because you think their life will be hard. It is not your business. So thank you, Jesus, that Roe versus Wade has been turned back to where it should have been and where it never should have been, to the place where it should have been left with the states. Now states, prove who you are. 
Are you a goat? Are you a sheep? Lions arise. Lions arise. Be prayerful. Don't give up. Do not give up. You are the lions. You are the spiritual leaders. The ones who know this is evil to hurt babies inside the womb. You have to rise up. You have to pray to our God. You have to listen to our God for directives because he is going to give them. Holy Spirit, bless us. Holy Spirit, help us. Holy Spirit, make our hearts pure so that we will not be a part of harming your little humans.